Hi friends, welcome to my channel Optometry Online. The topic for today's video is about Bruckner's test and its clinical interpretations. Bruckner's test where we use a red reflex which is helps to screen various eye disorders. It is a simple and easy method to identify amyotropia. It also helps in early detection thereby preventing amblyopia. It gives information about the media opacities, strabismus, pupil size and refractive error. It is more of objective assessment and hence can be used in infants and in an uncooperative kids. The procedure is usually done under illumination where we use a bright coaxial light from the direct ophthalmoscope and the, both the eyes are simultaneously illuminated at one meter difference. We have to compare the reflex from the both the eyes. So what to look for in Bruckner's test? It uses a light reflected from the retina. So we get a red reflex from the retina. So when the eye has got macular fixation, we see a deep red reflex, which means the density of photoreceptor is very high. So the, uh, the macular fixation eye will have a deep red reflex. But whereas when the eye has got a paracentral fixation, the reflex will be a little light and bright. So the in Bruckner's test, the eye which has got a bright light reflex is the eye under suspicion. So the other factor we have to see in the reflex are the quality of the reflex, brightness of the reflex, size of the pupil, position of reflex, quality of the corneal light reflex. So how to interpret? In a normal eye, the reflex from each eye will be equal in color and also in equal in brightness. In abnormal condition, the reflex between both the eyes are unequal or the, the reflex can be absent or it can be partial. It can be either crescent shaped or it can be white one or it can be off axis reflex. So in normal eye, when you shine the light on the uh, subject's eye, we see a red reflex. So both the reflex on both the eyes are equally red in color and it's bright. So it is a, this is how a normal eye will look like. If you're going to see in a cataractor's eye, when you're going to shine light, we see a shadow, which is an indication of media opacity. So it gives a clue that the, the child has got some media opacity, which needs, which needs further investigations. In case of leukocoria, when you're going to shine light, you see the eye which has got leukocoria will have a white reflex. So the most common cause uh, of the white reflex is the retinoblastoma. It's the most common intraocular mal malignancy of the child. Too. So the, this Bruckner's test is a simple uh, test which can even give clue about the intraocular tumors. In anisometropia, the eye which has got more amyotropia, the reflex will be bright red in color. So in this case, we see a minus 7 in the right eye and minus 0.5 in the left eye. So the eye which has got higher myopic error will exhibit a bright red reflex. But whereas the minus uh, 0.5 eye, the more emetropic eye will have a deep red color. Other uh, reflexes in such as in myopia, hypermetropia, it also gives uh, about the underlying refractive error, but it doesn't uh, gives a quantification, but it gives a some clue about the what refractive error the child usually has. See, in myopic error, if you see a, a inferior crescent, you see a child can be a myopic. And if you see a superior crescent, a child is most likely to be a hypropic uh, one. And in astic pandasum, you see a, a bright streak of light. So it means the child has got uh, astic pandasum in that eye. It also gives information about the ESO and exoposition, like the eye has got uh, off axis reflexes, such as in esotropia and exotropia. In the in esotropia, we see the eye is nasally, you know, I mean, most nasally inward, and the eye which has uh, esotropia will have a brighter red reflex. And in case of uh, exotropia, the eye which is deviated will have a brighter red reflex, giving a clue that, that the eye is most likely to, to be amblyopic, so it requires an immediate intervention. So that's all for the video today. So this video summarizes how a small red reflect and gives how so much information about the various errors and how it can be rectified and gives a further treatment. For more optimally related videos, kindly like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.